Hey everybody, this is Paul, and today I'm going to talk about a California native, actually one of my favorite California natives. I called it the wild cucumber as a kid. We would throw the spiky balls at each other, my brother and I, and one time we ate the seeds, and they're very, very bitter. I learned later that they're toxic, so that wasn't too smart. Luckily, we're okay. So do not eat the seeds. Um, some places say that you could eat the tuber. The tuber's root that grows on this uh, because it's actually called Mara macrocarpa or man root and it will create a giant tuberous root uh, up to 220 pounds they s at least 200 pounds so it's funny because this lemonade berry bush another native plant fell over and I was pruning it out and I kept digging up this giant tuberous root and I must have dug up 50 pounds and I gave up and now I know it was from not the lemonade berry bush, but it was from this lovely vine, this California native. Um, Mara macrocarpa, it is a relative to uh, the cucumber, it's a vigorous vine, and natives actually use the root to stun fish. So I read somewhere that you can't eat the root, I, it is edible, and I read somewhere it's toxic, so I'm not going to eat it, I would not recommend eating it. It will get 25 feet long, it has this really stunning foliage, and it needs to kind of grow on the native chaparral or uh, shrubs around it like you saw the lemonade berry bush or in this case the fence so it just will grab on and cling you can see and it gets really really long it must be about 20 feet already now I don't see any flowers on it they are kind of a creamish color they're very beautiful It'll bloom December to April and they, they do have male and female parts on this plant and they create a spiny fruit so I saw one here, here's a small one developing. There you go, get better exposure there. And it is really spiny. Now, it will, ow, it will get bigger and uh, probably about triple this size. And it will have like a group of four seed pods that pop out the bottom. And the seeds are really kind of blackish, dark brown and smooth. So I really like this plant. You can see the spiky um, seed pod, which is my favorite thing about it. So there you go. Um, give us a like and a subscribe, and hopefully you'll find these out in native California, anywhere, and uh, probably into Los Angeles and down into Baja. So you'll see them this time of year, thriving, getting really big, and then they'll die back about I'd say late June. All right, there you go. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Dude, it's creepy.